Well, hey there, this is Jerry, and I'm starting another episode of What's Broke Today, and today I have a uh, little utility trailer that, um, as you can see, is kind of bent. Um, we won't go into all the details how he bent it, but uh, he'll say when it's not attached to your truck going down to the highway and it hits things, it does a little bit of damage, so... We're going to try and straighten this thing up, replace all that bent railing, and then um, this angle iron down here has a bow in it. And, um, yeah, well, we're going to see what we can do with it. And then of course, I got a new piece of steel for the tongue because where it comes out here, it's bent right here. You got a crease in it, and when you stand in front, you can see it angle it off to the left. And then I got a new coupler to go on it because it's bent back the other direction to the right. And uh, yeah, I'll say I'm gonna get it on, get uh, some tools together, and we'll see if we can get started on this.
So I brought the new piece of steel in for the tongue and uh, I was getting ready to work on it and uh, one thing I got to do is got to put a hole in it for the hinge pin and which I don't know if you can see here but here's a previous repair I did where wish I could say that he had only lost his trailer one time but we're going to resort to two. Um, so need to say Last time he lost it, the pin come out where it hinges, which I'm not sure how he did that, but when it the trailer did its endo flip, it bent this really bad, so I cut off all the bent here, and that's why I moved that thing up, and this was eighth inch steel here. Well, he wanted it back to original length, so he got a uh, seven foot of three sixteenths. And I just measured my distance from the end to the center of the hole, top to the center of the hole, marked it here, and I'm going to drill that out. Okay, so I got my hole drilled out that I started out with my cobalt bits, then graduated to the step drills to make it bigger. And I got me a piece of pipe that's going to go through here, and I'm going to weld it in. And that's going to make I don't know if it fits in there because I just had it in there, but yeah, it's, I'm gonna weld it in there, and I it's a I have to sand it down; it's a little too long, but weld that in, and that'll help strengthen that up where it hinges. Well, when I end the day up yesterday, um, I drilled and got the coupler bolted on one end of the tongue. And then on the other end, I measured off the old tongue for drilling my hole here. I cut me a little sleeve out of some pipe and kind of chamfered the edges to go through there to make like a hinge pin. And then uh, I'm gonna weld that around that opening. So. I'm going to start out with uh, centering it up. Now I'm just going to pack it. So we'll get that centered. And then with that tacked, I'll just turn this up like so. Well, I think I got the welder warmed up enough. We'll find out shortly if the yeah, well, starts up in here a little more because Rad Welder was out where it was cold. And basically all I did was just weld it around that circle and trying to get as good a penetration as I can and avoid build up. That's why I chamfered the end of that pipe and then I drilled those holes using a unibit and I went the size of the pipe 
then about half of the next leg of the unit bit up to give me a groove to weld in. So we'll let that cool and I'm gonna get stuff prepped for uh, working on this railing. Well, I let my weld cool a little and I already did the other side, but I was taking my, put my grinding wheel on my angle grinder. Yeah, and see, and then I just ground that down where it's, you know, it's not sticking out and it'll fit right up in that pocket. And then I'll put a new pin through there because I don't know where I laid it down at, but what he originally had through that hole, which I. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. I'll find it and I'll show it to you.
Well, I was getting to a point where I was ready. I think I'm going to go ahead and start doing a little bit of welding on this. And I moved the camera to the rear of the trailer because I got my tape measure out and I did some measurements. And I'm going to say from the axle forward, this whole thing is cocked over. I'm going to say close to an inch that if I do a square check from, you know, back here by the, you know, right in front of the wheel to the rear corners, I'm not too bad. But when I add in corner to corner and corner to corner, then I end up way off. And if I look, you know, just get a good line looking down through here, you can see it. The bend is right in here. And then when I come over here and look at it, the bend is right about there. And that's not that anything else is super straight, but I mean, that's off enough. I, I can visually see it. And I'm going to go ahead and weld the rail on. I'm not sure there's much I can do about that out of wax so he may, he may just have to live with it but what I was going to start out with was you know tack weld to get my rail up here tack welded and uh, and I'll come over here and hit it and I'm also going to get it back here and then I get all my clamps off and plus once I get this off I can cut uprights to go in there and put them in and get our rail height correct so here I measured my rail height was nine inches so Oh, so we're good because, yeah, because I'm, uh, I'm right at nine in here, and I'm same thing over there, so that is, that's acceptable.
Yeah, because what I'm going to cut off the end of this isn't long enough for what I need. So I still got to go find another piece of angle iron. That's going to come up a little short. Well, let me go find some uh, another chunk of angle iron.
Okay, well, there is our trailer put back together. And we got our new tongue put on it. And uh, I think we're going to end up putting a bolt in here instead of that thing because it's bent. But that'll do for now till I uh, get it out of the barn. But it looks good. The yeah, other thing is, when the guy comes to pick up his trailer, and the dog's going nuts over the cat, um, he brought me the safety chains. And I was going to weld them on, but it was raining. So I ended up taking um, where it was bolted onto the, that tongue. I took out this front bolt. And I stuck a grade 8 from the inside out. It was uh, probably about, oh, I'd say inch and a half, two inches long. I didn't measure the length. but And I put a, the bolt through, a flat washer, the safety chain, and then my another flat washer, lock washer, and nut on the outside and tighten it up good so it would run up and meet up with the uh, trailer hitch because originally I was going to come back and go below this and weld them onto the tongue at the bottom but kind of hard to do that in the rain. Well hey I appreciate you watching this episode of What's Broke Today that I got that trailer put back together and yeah he picked it up and he was happy and um yeah, I plugged his lights in. They worked on his truck, um, got his safety chains on, and uh, he took it home. And after it quit raining, he went ahead and sprayed it with some Rust-Oleum and put his plywood um, sides back on it and went to work the other day and used it and called me and said that it was towing good and uh, everything was working like it should. That, um, hey, I appreciate you watching, and uh, just stay tuned for no telling what else you're going to see on What's Broke Today. Thank you.